Hey folks, I'm Chuck Black. We're doing 52 weeks of Python in 10 minute or less sessions. And the topic for this week is going to be lists. If you recall from last week, we talked about a dictionary of a single device. This time, we're going to talk about a list of devices and it corresponds to lesson two in the code. So let's get started. Now, before I go too deeply into this code, I want us to understand what this code is doing. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a dictionary that is a device with this information in it, and then we're going to create a bunch of them so that at the end of the day, we have a number of these different devices that we are keeping in a Python list. Now, one thing to point out is that there's a lot of randomness in how I have created these. I don't have actual devices that are representing this. I'm generating it I'm using random functionality in Python. We're not going to go into the details of that randomness, but I just want you to be aware that uh, that is something that we will be doing in the course of creating this list. So let's look at the code at a very high level. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a list that's called devices. Now I want you to make sure that you notice this is devices down here. I'm going to create a dictionary that's going to be a single device and I'm going to be doing that multiple times. But at the beginning I say devices that is going to be my list and I use this way of uh, defining it. The next thing I do is I'm going to go through this for loop. Now we've iterated through things that are dictionaries before. You can iterate through a list very easily. We'll do that many, many times. This is a little bit different here, uh, but it's doing something pretty straightforward and that you may have seen before in other programming languages. I want to go through this for loop and set index equal to one the first time through, to two the second time through, to three the third time through, etc., all the way till I get up to 10 and then I want to stop before I get to 10. And the way that we do this in Python is with this range function. I can declare range and what it will do is the first time through this loop the value of index will be 1 and the next time through it will be 2. Now the only thing I use index for is actually down here where I'm creating, what is this? My IP address and if you were to look over here it won't surprise you to see that I have an IP address 10.0.0.1.2.3 etc. That is my for loop. Let's ignore all of this random generation of name, vendor, OS, and version for now. Once I have a device created, this device dictionary that has a vendor and an OS and a version and an IP address and a name, how do I add it to the list? Well, this is important. You don't add it to the list. You append it to the list. So you're going to device, say devices. Remember, devices is my list that I created up here. Devices dot append and what am I passing in and saying I want to append? I'm appending that device dictionary. That way when I'm done and I print everything out and I do go through all of my devices in order then each one is going to be printed in turn. That is basically what this loop does. All the stuff in the middle that we're looking at right here I could actually just uh, get rid of that and all that this will be is creating the device dictionary, setting stuff up. I've commented out this uh, printing that I did before, and then I append it. So really I'm looping through this loop where I set my index, and then I create a device, and then I append the device. And from that point forward, all I do is print it in different ways. So now that we've seen devices and the for loop that created them, let's look at what they actually look like and the best way to do that is to print them out. Now I'm going to do a pretty print. Notice this is a P print of devices and look at what it's going to do for me. Devices has list of dictionaries. Look at this item right here. That's a square bracket and that is how we represent uh, lists in data for Python. So basically this is going to be a list. The first item in the list is going to be what you see right here. What is that? Well the curly braces with something with a colon in the middle, that's going to be a dictionary. So this is the dictionary. It's the first item in my list. What's in the dictionary? It has a key called IP with this value of the IP address. It has a key called name 
and this is the name of it, etc. And so we see that we have a whole bunch of these. Here's the list of my nine different devices that you can see printed out. Now, what if I want to reference, instead of doing the whole thing, I want to just reference one item in there. Well, I've arbitrarily chosen the number four as my index. If I chose a number like 11, it would cause my program to crash. So I need to do this uh, judiciously and intelligently. Here I just uh, chose four because I know that there's going to be four. And to show you the way that you reference one item is by using these square brackets next to the name of the variable. In the same way that with the dictionary, we did fundamentally the same thing where we did device and then we specified in square brackets the key with a list we do square brackets the index of that thing and so here I printed out uh, in in unfancy format this is what it looks like with the normal print uh, what it looks like when I do a pretty print looks a little bit better this is just one of my devices now one thing to point out here I'm printing index number four and you may have noticed this, wait a minute, that looks like it's printing number five. Well, in Python, lists and everything else is zero based index. That means it starts at zero. So when I, uh, this is the zeroth item, this is the first item, this is the second item, and this is the third item, and the index number four is going to be this item right here. Now it just happens that my range, remember my range went from one to 10. I could have had it go from zero to nine, but then I would have had an invalid IP address. So if you're confused by that, that is why we're doing that. And this is an, an important thing in uh, Python when we reference a specific item that's an index, then it started at zero, you have to remember that. Now the last thing that we do is we're using this special function that you need to use pip to install and you can ignore this if you want, but basically I'm asking Python, this tabulate functionality, to print me this thing in a nice looking table. And so if you don't want to do that, uh, you could do this by hand, uh, but you will have to do a pip install of tabulate if you want to use this functionality. Otherwise you could do another loop where you do four uh, device in devices and then print them all by yourself using print statements. But this was an easy way to get it to print it out. So lastly, regarding this random creation of device name, vendor, OS, and version, you don't have to worry about the details of this. You can probably infer what's going on by just looking at it. Uh, as you write this code, which you need to do in order to understand it, really you're gonna be learning about um, lists and about for loops and then about printing and referencing things, etc. Don't worry about this uh, random stuff. You can just copy it if you want from my code, which is available on GitHub. You could type it in. You could do hard-coded values that everything is Cisco or everything uh, is Juniper or whatever you want to do. Anyway, uh, that's it. Hopefully this lesson made sense to you. You know a little bit more about lists than you did before. You know a little bit more about for loops, the ability to go through in a for loop with a range statement. And uh, yeah, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, thanks for listening and be sure to write this code.